Okay everybody, welcome back to this video, how to install and wire a single pole circuit breaker. I will say this is my disclaimer, proceed at your own risk, and again proceed at your own risk and be safe. I am not an electrician, nor do I know any of the codes. So if you want your house to have some good resale value, hire an electrician if you are not comfortable doing this yourself. Hello, welcome back. Uh, I seem to get a lot of hits on and views on the video that I made wiring up the uh, uh, 50 amp 220 volt plug that I made. So I figured I would do another video while I'm doing a little bit more wiring in the garage. And uh, this one I'm going to be more or less putting in a new circuit for some additional lighting using a 20 amp uh, 20 amp breaker and we're going to start by this wire it is currently not connected to anything it's dead so we got to connect this to the power source and the grid so the first thing that I'm going to do and I don't really think I'm going to lose a lot of light I got a decent window here is I'm going to turn off the main so that there's no power going to any of this in here. Just to just to start to taking off this insulation, this outside of the cable here. And this is a uh, 12 gauge. So it's a little bit heavier. I like to use 12 gauge, not necessarily that you can get a little bit extra load in it, but just it's a pain in the butt to work with, but it is a little extra security in my mind, I guess. So, and then also on the shop here, if I have a, you know, if I have plugs where the I'm going to be plugging in a welder, then I'm going to need that 20 amps, like the the Lincoln 140C that I have. You need to have a 20 amp breaker minimum for that, so. So you just start and then you just strip back the cable sheath. Get some of this paper insulation out of your way. You can choose whichever flavor you want, uh, the knife, the I call them dykes, they're called side cutters, dykes, whatever. I, I, I tell you, I had somebody, I called them a dyke and they're just like, what? And it's like nobody's ever called them that or something, but I have verified with some other people that they call them dykes as well, so I don't feel bad. Alright, so one of the first things I need to do, and it's it's nice to get some neat wiring in here. I mean, I'm sure this isn't the greatest, but it's not, it's just not outrageous. Like I, I do try to get my ground wires to go behind all of like my hots. I try and square it up in the box nicely and, and you're going to have like this a 90 in here and you don't, you don't need a whole lot there so you're going to clip that off. You need a flathead screwdriver generally. And you just pick one of the open slots. And I do say pick one of the open slots a lot of times so uh, it may not be that there is one available, you can double up, but probably shouldn't. We're gonna say that you can double up and it'll work, but by code, I'm not sure that you're supposed to. You're probably supposed to put in another bus bar. So then you tighten that screw up a little bit, so that's your ground, ground's connected. Oh, uh, let's get the my neutral, my white wire, let's get that one uh, 
First thing I'm going to do is just get it to the size that I want. And then I'm going to clip it. And this is just a rough guess really. It's go big because you don't want to go small here. And then you're going to need some wire strippers. So again, I'm just trying to put my neutral behind all of my hot leads. Again, you'll have to use that screwdriver and uh, you want to stick your neutral, I mean, enough that you're going to get, lock it down on the on the set screw but you also you don't want to go all the way through you don't want to go all the way through and there's actually this this divider in here that is supposed to be an insulator and what it's doing is it's insulating so that if you go too far through you don't want a neutral to touch the outside of your box your, uh, you'll notice like on your your grounding bar it's it is a secure ground to the box whereas your neutral bar is isolated by these plastic clips and so that's the thing you just don't want to go too far through and cause a short more or less into your box all right so then I'm gonna bring my, you know, just to keep even more housekeeping or whatever, I'm just gonna bring it up and put my, my breaker right here, so. Let's uh, cut this one. And these little pieces, I keep them around. They're like an extension cords and air hoses, or you can't beat them for like temporary ties. All right, so again, strip this one. And on your breaker, you've got that set screw and you put your wire in through here. And some of these, you can see the set screws are starting to be uh, multi, it's like that can be a square head or they, whatever the name is for those, uh, or a flat head. So you just got to, Take that out of it, put your wire in there, clamp it down with the set screw. And with these, with this type of breaker, it's different depending on the type of box and the bars that you get. With this one, You've got this bar here which is completely dead and then you've got your, I don't know what the term is, your tree, it's your hot, it's, it's you got both poles coming in, so one is 110, the next one's 110, and the reason why you get 220 is you'll have a, a larger one that will go over and grab one from each and that gets you your 220. So on this one, you kind of, it's got this clip in there that you push there. And then you just push this down onto the tree, and that's that. So what it is, is it's got that clip right here. 
and you just hook it into there and then you force it down onto there. So. Clip it in. Get it in there into that groove. Just push it down on. And there you have installed and and even though All right, so even though your main is off this whole time, you should probably install this so that it's in the off position. You know, not in the on position. Make sure it's in the off position. So to test this. I mean, it's going to be connected to some switches down the way into the lights, and I don't really have any of that connected in yet, so I can't really test it right now. But to test it, it's going to be a matter of flipping the light switch and do the lights turn on? Or flip the light switch, does it instantly trip? Or something like that. So I hope that this was educational to you. This is, a, you know, a 20 amp. You can. Same process for the 15 amps, 30 amps, pretty much any 110 or 120 volt breaker, that's your process. Uh, really the only difference for the 220 volts that you see here is instead of one hot lead, that black wire that I put in there, that's the hot lead. So on your 220, is you, you have two hot leads, so one catches each pole off the box. So, like it, comment, subscribe, and thank you. Be safe. Electricity will kill you faster than, I don't know, a slip, trip, and fall hazard or something. So, thank you, and again, be safe.